Okay. Uh, again, thanks everyone for coming. I'll just try and move through this fairly quickly. Uh, again, the exercises, uh, there's 10 of them, and uh, it'll be fairly rapid fire. Uh, and obviously, not expecting you to go back and, and do them this quickly with, with your teams, but take the ideas and expand, expand upon them. And what we'll start here, just a couple things are going to come out in each exercise. We're going to start with the individual defending stuff to begin with. And you're going to hear uh, phrases like, uh, travel when the ball travels, make the play predictable. You're going to hear me talk to the boys about using their bodies, being side on, being low. Those things, those themes are going to come out time and time again. And then the second part, I think in almost every exercise we will do here, there's a transitional component. So in other words, it's not good enough uh, just to win the ball and kick it, kick it out of touch or uh, it, what you, ha you have to do something with it in that transitional moment. And so we'll, that, that theme will come out through the first 55 minutes. Okay, the first exercise here <clears throat> is just a 1v1 defending. Boys, let's, uh, let's have you start maybe just here on the, on the blue. And if, uh, coaches, we're going to work in the blue cones here for the first exercise. Uh, so we're going to walk through it to begin with. Dan, go ahead and serve and just travel as the ball travels to close down, close down your team and stop right there. Okay, just hold up for a sec, boys. Okay, so the first thing is travel quickly when the ball travels. Stay side on. And let's, uh, let's add one more thing. Let's make it predictable. Let's make it really clear rather than just tra running at the ball. Let's make it really clear. I want him going back that way or you're going to curve your run that way. So we'll ask the boys to curve, curve the run that way. Okay, and uh, uh, attackers... Hit top speed, try and get yourself over the end line. Defenders, can you win the ball and put it back into that net? So not good enough to, to knock the ball out of, out of play. Let's just see how that looks. Okay, play. <clears throat> okay, good, excellent, use of the body, well done. Okay, and stop for a second. Okay, let's just go again. We'll run through maybe three or four and then I wanna make a couple of points. Okay, ready to travel when the ball travels? Okay, play. And what side, okay? He's made it clear. Okay, well done, good dribbling. Okay, play. Okay, a transitional component, and we'll also ask for the team that's just lost the ball, press right away. So attackers, if you've lost the ball, pre press right away. Okay, boys, listen up, and this is for the coaches as well. Go ahead and play in, Dan. Okay, and just hold the ball for a second. This time, each the first three defenders, uh, only one use the arms. So I want you now, take your touch out there. Can we step across the player and get your body between the player and the ball? Okay, and if the, let's play back in, Dan. If the ball is, hold up for a sec, just hold the ball. If I've closed down like this and I'm asking him to go that way, just take a small touch. Can I step across body between the ball and the player? If he cuts the ball back, that goes that way, same thing. So we're looking a lot more at using hip rotation, getting your arms out, rather than cut, cut the ball back there again, rather than just sticking a leg out. Okay, so side on every time, low every time, weight on your back leg every time. Think about being big, using your hips, using your arms to separate the player from the ball. Okay, let's go ahead and look at that. Play. And you think about rotating your hip, you, now get your arm, make contact. Okay, and stop for a sec. So each time you do this with your, with your players, one thing that needs to come out, there needs to be contact at some point. Okay, play. Lower and stay side on, great hip, great hip rotation, well done, good defending. Can, can that ball be kept now? Rather than knocking it out, can the ball be kept? Contact. Okay, play. Okay, and relax for a second. Okay, the one thing that we'll add, again, we're not coaching for perfection, just gonna show you the exercises. Can we have uh, one player right here? Just jump in on this side of Dan, on the blue cone. And this player is now a wall player. So when I go in to defend here, ball played in, show, show as a wall player. You can come in tight, come in tight as well, get into the grid. Yeah, show as a wall player, play him, try and get behind. And you drop off and keep the play in front of you. See the player and see the ball. If I have one possession, play, play back into him. 
and I, I win, just dribble at me, and I win possession, you're now going for me, and I'm back in. So again, we have that transitional component. Okay, when you're defending against the wall pass, it's a straight drop, see the player, see the ball. Human nature, you'll do this, walk towards the ball. Okay, let's just take a look quickly, boys, play. Okay, and just one touch for the wall player. Okay, sorry. Play, here we go, just one touch for the wall player. Back in, wall player. Okay, well done. Yeah, wall player, just stay in, same one. Okay, and stop, just one touch for the wall player. One more time. And make contact, get your arms out, get your arms out. Okay, and, and back in. Okay, and stop. So there's exercise one. You just, uh, again, do a lot more detail with your own team, but travel when the ball travels. Close down and make the play predictable. Stay low, stay side on, make early contact, focus a lot more on rotating your hips, using your arms to step in between the player and the ball. Okay, and when you win it, you're right back into transition to finish off the attack.